<laughs> Johnny Depp's defamation trial against Amber Heard heated up again today as other celebrities were dragged into the dispute. He's suing his ex-wife for 50 million US dollars over an article in which she said she was a victim of domestic abuse. Now, a warning, some people may find the story distressing. Until today, we've only heard the he said side of this he said, she said battle, and it hasn't been pretty. She was banging on the doors and screaming obscenities and wanting to uh, have a physical altercation. From disturbing texts... You said, let's drown her before we burn her, Mr. Depp. And you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife. Yes, I did. To secret recordings. Put your cigarettes out on someone else. You have consequences for your actions. That's it. Shut up, fat ass. Depp denies ever hitting Heard and claims, in fact, that she was the perpetrator. And support on social media swings strongly in his favour. But New Zealander Mark Longley, whose daughter Emily was murdered in 2011, says we should take Depp's texts seriously because Emily's killer made similar threats. And some have pointed out that Heard's legal team might not be the flashest. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on one of his well, fingers. Uh, rejection, Here's, hearsay. But you, you asked the question. Okay. Oh. On day 11 of the trial, the ex spouse's former talent agent spilled the tea on why Depp lost his acting work. And Mr. Twitter himself, Elon Musk, was also name dropped as Heard's former flame. Amber Heard is set to take the stand in the coming days. But can either actor rebuild their reputation after such a bitter, public battle. Entertainment editor for Channel 7 in Australia, Peter Ford, is with us from Melbourne now. Um, Peter, as we saw in that, a former talent agent, not just for Depp, but for Amber Heard, appeared in court today. What did he have to say? Well, this bloke's name is Christian Carino. Now, he is the former talent agent to Johnny Depp and to Amber Heard, both of them at the one time. He also happens to be, in terms of pop culture, the former fiancé of Lady Gaga. <laughs> so is this guy going to get a book deal or not? I'm telling you. <laughs> but So he was looking after them both at the one time. So he was front and centre of everything that was playing out. Now, one of the things that he revealed today was that Amber Heard did, in fact, go and spend time with... He was reluctant to say dating, but spend time with... Elon Musk. So as if Elon Musk hasn't had enough publicity this week so far, now he's drawn into this rather sordid case playing out in America. Now, observant viewers have noticed that Depp has been doodling in court. Do, do you know what he's been drawing? And are, are we sure that he's taking this whole thing seriously? I, I think he's taking it super seriously, actually. But it has gone on for a long time so far. And certainly, if you look at what's been going on, he's been on that stand for days on end. He's now not. And, yes, he was caught doodling. And someone put it up on TikTok and it's become a thing. And it looked <laughs> like he'd, you know, sketched a woman's face. Now, we don't know any more than that. Hopefully he'll sell it, maybe raise some money for a good charity. But, you know, there's so many things like this that are kind of vaguely amusing. But front and centre in this case, we cannot forget this is a story that is allegedly about domestic violence, even though it's not a domestic violence case. This is a defamation case. But at its heart and soul, we have people who are both accusing each other of being the battered party in the relationship. And I think that's the one thing we can probably only be sure of at this stage is that this was a very toxic relationship that they both should have got out of. Peter, are there going to be any winners from this, do you think? Probably not. I don't think anyone's going to come out of this, you know, clean-skinned. I think there's going to be a lot of damage. Johnny did this last year. He took on the Sun newspaper in England and he lost. This time he's come back and basically, again, this time he's going for Amber Heard personally. I don't think either of them are going to come out well, but one of them is going to be left with a massive bill to pay. Don't forget Johnny Depp wants $50 million US dollars for the damages to his career. But the other thing we also should mention is that... You know, domestic violence is not a joke. It's not a fun thing. I don't think this is really a domestic violence story. I think it's a story about two demented people who probably both should be locked up because their behaviour is appalling. OK, Peter Ford, thank you very much. Great summary. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's so fascinating, isn't it? Because it's, so, it's such a different world. I mean, it's almost like a reality TV series because they're not... 
I mean, they're fighting for their reputation, but really, if I mean, if they lose, does it really matter? Are they still going to have millions and millions of dollars? Like, I don't really know if I support either of them. Unless really? Mm. Mr Depp wants to cast me into something, then I'll be happy to be Team Depp. <laughs> or or Mr Depp, happy to be Team Hurt all the way. Yeah, I don't know how you turn that into a job application. <laughs> I'm happy to. Very I'll good. You know, and there are actually four weeks to go in this trial, yep. and we still haven't heard uh, from Amber Heard yet, so mm. a long way to go in this thing.